All right, after 4,000 basements, I think to myself, man, I can't be impressed by anything new, but every time, every day, my team, my crew, everybody involved in these projects, they don't cease to impress me. Every single job, waiting to see what we got here. this great open staircase right here, but you have to appreciate the fact that when we got here, these were walls, there was a beam here, we recessed it in, a lot of work went into doing this, and I gotta tell you, it's all worth it. One thing you gotta take a, uh, notice to is we got this feature wall when you come down the stairs, and we got these glass doors here going in the gym, we'll show you in a little bit, but as you come down and you go this way, look how great this area is. I hesitate to call it a bar, I hesitate to call it a kitchen, I wanna call it an entertainment space. Because one thing we're getting tasked with a lot of people saying, I want a bar, but we don't drink. Everybody thinks bar is alcohol, but I want a kitchen, but I don't want it to look like a kitchen because I have one upstairs. So this is what you get when you don't know what you want, but you want to have this entertainment space. We got the cabinets, we got the functionality of a kitchen, we got the functionality of a bar, we have the island, we have a microwave hidden here. Now instead of having four people sitting here with a bartender facing this way, you can put 10 people in a circle. You can play cards, board games, this is the way to go. Pay attention to the ceiling too. It's amazing, this whole area and how nice it looks. Opens up into the main part of the basement. Look at this sitting area. How gorgeous is this? We took this little cove right here, turned it into a nice sitting area. It's really just amazing. It's right next to that entertainment center, which we'll call a bar slash kitchenette. Um, we were challenged with a couple columns right here. Unlike normal, when you build a big bulky thing, we kind of cut the center open here, put a light in, so it kind of added a lot of flavor to it without having a big bulky thing. Over here in this area, we created a kid's room for them to game. We've got a couple of barn doors here, another double set of barn doors here going into the utility room, but how cool is this? The kids got their own gaming section. Pay attention here too. Trim everywhere, LED lights hidden, really sharp. The basement is huge, but it lays out fantastic. It just keeps opening up right here. We got a very large hat bath, done very classy. Um, and they get the room here. The reason it's so large is they might want in the future put in a shower, but right now they don't need that. You see, we got some built-ins over here. Interesting here, pay attention. These columns match those columns. So it's very symmetrical. Again, trim everywhere. Look at this home theater. This is just an amazing space. Once again, crown molding, LED lights. Look at the cabinets. We have a 10 foot fireplace here. It's just beautiful the way it's set up. And then we have the cabinets on either side of it, trim everywhere, beautiful floor. This floor is continuous throughout the whole basement. And if you just look at this basement, the way it's set up from this angle, it's just tremendous. Really sharp, wide open. You wanna talk about entertaining and hanging out? Backside of that theater, what do we got? Like six more bar stools right here. And then this door here leads back behind the stairs into the gym. You're gonna love this part. All right, this is the entrance to this gym. Not just a gym, by the way. Look at this jujitsu room. I mean, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to step on there. I need to like bow or something, but really cool. We actually put plywood on the walls here. So the kids, they roll around here and they roll hard. You could bang into these walls, do whatever. So you got this going on. I guess you could do aerobic activity, Pilates, whatever. And then you come in here. This is a legit gym. So this is the second basement I've done for this customer. They recently moved here and their previous house had a large gym as well and had all this equipment so we had to bring it here and uh, it really worked out well. There's a column here but it doesn't affect any of the gym equipment. And then as you wrap through, we get back to where we started at the entrance where the steps are and then we have these glass French doors and a staircase right there. So this gym encompasses a good portion of the basement but as you can see the basement itself is still very large. So awesome basement. All right guys. I appreciate you checking out this crib. Really cool basement, but it's time for me to relax and watch my favorite show. So time for you guys to leave. <laughs>